Hey, so I've already made a video on Minecraft Reddit that um, as of recording this video, I haven't actually uploaded yet. So I hope you guys liked it because here's another one. <laughs> now, what was cool about the previous one is I actually learned something new about Minecraft. I learned multiple things new about Minecraft that I didn't know before just by browsing this website. So I thought we would learn some more together. So it's about five days after the one I made before. So let's take a look at what is top right now. We've got ourselves... Oh my goodness, that is insane. This is a build that I've been working on for the past six months by myself on the survival server I play on. Survival! You just hit the halfway point, so welcome to Oom um Cathedral. Are you kidding me? Survival? You did this on survival? This is the kind of stuff I make on survival. <laughs> this is- I- I can't even- wow! Wow, that is insanely good. Uh, I need to definitely up my building game a lot. Help me. House on a bridge. I bet this is even way better than what I can make. Yep. Yep, house on a bridge, guys. Simple name. Incredible build. What is that underneath? Is that a squid? Upside down? Or is that something else? I don't know, but actually, that looks like there's some mods on there. Because it's got the, the lights and the washing hanging on the line. That's really cool. I feel a lot worse about my building skills now. Even worse. Here's a quick update to my vanilla re texture that shows off everything I've done so far. All right, let's take a look at some new textures. So it's like new textures for gold. I think this post here is to do with it as well. The Minecraft color palette has always bothered me, so I'm renewing all the textures by recoloring them. Yeah, that's nice. They've literally white balanced the bones and the arrows, and the red is a lot more realistic on the apple. And with the gold, it actually looks more gold than yellow. That's nice. The apple looks really cool. Perfect day to go ice fishing. Definitely. Oh my goodness. See, look, some people say that they don't like or don't want to play Minecraft because the graphics aren't good. But check this out. Absolutely beautiful. Of course, they've used mods and stuff. Uh, I don't think they photoshopped this. They might have edited some of the colors and stuff, but you can get skies like this really, really easily. So check this out. Beautiful skies. With beautiful cows. Hey, buddy. But we can make them look even more beautiful. Check it out. See? Look at this sky. I literally just a resource pack later, and you've got yourself some realistic grass. Put your face in that and rub it. Your cows are looking the same, but we don't mind that. You're very nice looking, aren't you, buddy? But the sky is the main thing here. Check it out. Look how nice that is. And if we change the time to, I don't know, like, dusk? Whoa. <laughs> oh, that's phenomenal. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. That's amazing. What about, like, sunset? Oh! Oh, that's so... That's so pretty, I might cry. That's so nice. Dude, I should put that in all my Minecraft videos. Look at this. That's beautiful. You can literally add this to a vanilla texture pack as well. So as you just take the custom sky and put that in its own kind of resource pack, you can get it to look like this. I mean, what? That is insane. Look how beautiful the purples and the blues. Oh man, I'm hyped. Right, I got another one as well to look at. This one's actually called Dramatic Skies as a resource pack. So it's kind of got like the fluffy clouds and stuff. The sun is huge. Let's change it to nighttime real quick. Oh, oh, that's moody. That's real moody. And then let's change it to kind of like a dusk sunset. Okay, that's nice. The previous one though was killer. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so nice. I'll leave a link to both of these in the description below. Wow. <laughs> Again, Reddit, thank you. Uh, I wouldn't have discovered this if it wasn't for you. Even you look nice in this, Mr. Creeper. The water looks amazing too. Look at that. Whoa. Okay, let's, let's get back to some Reddit posts. So on the subject of textures and stuff, apparently this guy... Oh, <laughs> what is that? Oh my goodness. The, the hot bar looks cool, but look at their faces. Why are your forehead so wrinkly? Oh no, I need to cross that off. That's, uh, I'm gonna have nightmares about that. Ew. Another texture, uh, something to do with a green parrot. Let's take a look. Look at that. <laughs> It's like a falcon. They should actually add more birds into Minecraft because the parrots look amazing. But if you like retexture them, they look even cooler. Nice. Whoa, look at that. It's like a furnace that's 3D. You can kind of see in the block. Because with resource packs nowadays, I'm pretty sure you can replace the models as well, which is really cool. Check that out. Hey, Reddit Minecraft. Here's a picture of a mansion I built. How is it? It's pretty cool. My friend and I want to give our sheep one simple message. Obey. Sounds really dramatic. What does it say? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we will rule over you sheep forever <laughs> It's a picture of a, a raw lamb chop not even a cooked one 
a raw piece of mutton so that you know that you're going to be turned into that if you don't behave. You hear me? Decided to make myself a comfortable home. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, yeah. <laughs> from Lord of the Rings. That's awesome. Are those the new magma blocks? That looks really nice. Whoa! An airboat in Minecraft. It's like a, a hovercraft kind of contraption. That's insane. Custom model in resource pack, no mods. See, this is where vanilla Minecraft can get absolutely crazy. And you can ride it around as well. Look at the compass. That's a cool touch. Lucky Ender Pearl and block save. It's another competitive Minecraft GIF. Right, let's check this out. So this is Sky Wars. Competitive Minecraft blows my mind. He just threw an egg at him. You're crazy, buddy. Look how fast this guy is. He's trying to make people follow him and then mine the blocks out beneath them, I think. And then encourage them to come across. What is this brain trickery? Oh. Oh, no, he's falling. Whoa, how did you do that? What? How? How? Now he's summoning chickens to help him out? What is going on? He spawned in skeletons, a blaze, and someone came down to try and kill him and got destroyed. Are they gonna die? Yeah, <laughs> they did. That is insane. I wanna watch that bit again where he does the ender pearl. I can't figure out how he did this. So he ender pearls up, jumps, and then... It glitches him to the bottom where he saves himself. I can't even work that out. That's crazy strategy. Ball Pocket Edition the other day. Just discovered you can upload shaders and texture packs. Not disappointed. Wow, that looks nice. I love that. It's like a cartoon realistic pack. These cows are looking really impressed as well. <laughs> so now the Pocket Edition and console and Windows 10, I guess, are catching up. It means you can do amazing things like this in those games too. So you don't feel like you're getting kind of like a budget version of Minecraft, which is so cool. And then we end on a, a giant pink castle, which is crazy. So what can we take away from today's Reddit browsing? I need to improve my building a lot. I also suck at PvP and people are way better in competitive Minecraft but I knew that anyway. And resource packs can be both amazing and terrifying. Hmm. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love looking through the stuff that has been created on the Minecraft community. So if you want to see some more of these videos, I don't even know if you wanted to see this one because I haven't uploaded the first one yet, but I hope you did. If you want to see more, please leave a big fat thumbs up. That'd be greatly appreciated. And if it happens to be the first video you've seen by me, please do consider subscribing to join Team TDN today for daily crazy videos. Apart from that, guys, if you feel like sticking around a little bit longer, why don't you check out this video right here? Or you can come and see me live in person on the Dan TDM US live tour by clicking this link just below. It'll take you straight to the ticket page. Apart from that, guys, thank you again so much for watching. You are the best. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!